You know your heart starts to do beam, beam, beam. Once you see your partner's phone ring, you suddenly transform into a private investigator, Sherlock. You want to know what's going on inside that phone. You overanalyze, you try to decode every text by fire and by force. Our body start doing you somehow, somehow. Anyways, if this sounds like you, trust me. I got you. Oh, hi fam, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, anyways, O to the end to the O on Adanabia. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to subscribe. If you are returning subscriber, I love you so much. I'm one of those people that has been doing beam, beam, beam. When you see your partner's full ring, then this video is definitely for you. Talking about how to deal with trust issues in your relationship. Let's dive in. First, you need to understand the origin of that trust issues. Where did this insecurity come from? Did your former bobo break your heart? Friends bobo paying for the sins of your former bobo. You need to know where that trust issues came from. Is it from betrayal with friends? How did it come about? You need to first understand and acknowledge where your trust issues is coming from in order to be able to deal with it and tackle it in your relationship. If you're in a relationship with someone that has trust issues, you go explain, 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 tire. In your past relationship, it was like this, it was like that. You've gotten so used to a particular pattern that if that doesn't you, after like 10 minutes, ha, ah, problem. You are going to bring down the roof. You know, this guy could be stuck in traffic. Uh, if your partner has a pattern of sleeping by 10 and he suddenly sleeps by 7 o'clock, you'll be smelling some fish there. That's how it is for someone that has trust issues. So you need to understand where did this come from in order to tackle it two communicate openly and honestly open your mouth and tell your partner how you feel express yourself tell him what is tricking in your chest open your mouth and explain to your partner openly be honest about it you don't have to sound like you're auditioning for a nollywood scene. instead of saying ah babe why why are you always hiding your phone who is that girl you're always talking to who's making you smile on that phone why don't you just tell him babe i'm a bit anxious that you're always on your phone wait you are not starting world war three fighting him for a peace talk you can even keep a plate of jello fries there and be talking and communicating openly and honestly nagging and being who is that you're always hiding your phone communicate openly and honestly and calmly third one address your insecurities we all have insecurities you're starting to compare yourself with his ex you are comparing yourself with every friend you tend to feel like ah, i look like this i look like that so address your insecurity you may want to tell yourself this person is with me now doesn't matter how his ex looked i mean i look good too remind yourself that you look good with spec a package a full package and stop comparing yourself that you look good too you're a fine being hmm? always remind yourself that you're the best thing since sliced bread talk, talk to yourself try as much as possible not to project those insecurities on your partner set clear boundaries tell your partner what is acceptable and what is not acceptable if you don't feel comfortable with your partner chilling with an ex you can always say babe i don't feel comfortable with you chilling with your ex don't do the whole silent treatment thing you feel like he's supposed to know you know but you have to be clear and set those boundaries tell him babe you're not doing it rudely but you're saying it calmly babe if you must continue this relationship i don't appreciate you chilling with your ex it makes me feel insecure it makes me feel a certain kind of way i've never been comfortable with that and i don't think i'll ever be comfortable with it set clear boundaries period trace out your boundaries voice it out don't just have it in your head and you have to be calm about it you don't have to shout legit met a guy that was trying to ask me out and he told me claire if we are dating even though i thought it was a bit extreme but almost he was telling me what he can take what he can accept and what he cannot accept he was like you don't need to have any male friend at all no you know hanging out with your male friends to me it sounded a bit extreme but he was setting his boundaries in order to deal with trust issues in relationship you have to set your boundaries and be clear about your boundaries speak open your mouth and tell him or her 
your boundary be patient while rebuilding trust let's say your partner has cheated before and has given you reason to believe that he's cheating or he has actually done something that made you feel like relationship is not working or he's not really into you and he's trying and he's telling you that oh see i'm into you this is what happened that's what happened if you really want to stay there to avoid overthinking or to deal with your overthinking you have to understand that rebuilding trust takes time it takes patience for instance he never used to call during the day he used to call only at night and he got you worked up it makes you anxious and you complain to him about this and he starts to call you during the day like after you guys have talked about it, celebrate that small win because it is a small win that builds a trust bank. Celebrate that small win and be patient if you want to be there. Instead of overthinking it, be patient while rebuilding the trust again. You have to learn to practice forgiveness. I will not say forgive and forget because I know that forgetting can be very difficult. But you need to learn to practice forgiveness. You have to understand that the partner is not perfect. He's going to misbehave. So you have to practice forgiveness. For you to move forward, you have to let go of grudges. Not just grudges in your present relationship. Some people have trust issues because they've not even forgiven their ex. I'm not saying you should forget what your ex did, but you have to forgive what your ex did in order for you to move on. If not, you always project that grudge, that hate on your partner unknowingly. So you have to be ready to practice forgiveness, forgive your past, and also forgive your presence when he misbehaves. Sorry, I keep saying he, 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 because I'm saying this from a girl's perspective, but it also applies to the men. Seek help. When it's getting complicated, when it looks like your heart is doing bing 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 too much, you can't control it. You are just overthinking. There are people that are naturally overthinkers. They get anxious because of their past trauma, because of the things they've been through. See, trauma is not a joke. Heartbreak is not a joke. When they've broken your heart and they betrayed you, then you've seen shake it. Hmm. Trusting somebody again can be difficult. So it's not weird when people go to a therapist after a breakup. It's not weird at all because breakup will show you 99 <laughs> you find out that it's becoming too complicated you find out you can't trust your partner no matter how hard you try sometimes he has not even given you any reason to believe that he's doing anything bad but you just can't trust him because of your past trauma know when to seek help it could be from a trusted friend it could be from a therapist it could be from a counselor seek help when you need to seek help there's nothing to be ashamed of some people are chronic overthinkers because of their past experiences and the last one focus on building trust through consistent behavior and actions you have i don't think a relationship can work without trust this trust issue can cause a lot of disconnection it's hard to be emotionally intimate with a partner that has trust issues it's really difficult so you have to focus on building trust instead of thinking about the negatives focus on building trust with this person forget your past trauma forget the things you've and just focus on i want to build trust with this person by consistent behavior if he doesn't call you call babe what's going on you focus on trust and consistent behavior look at his own actions how he's treating you. good parts just focus on those parts and it would help to reduce the trust issues it will help to reduce your overthinking there you have it my lovers trust issues can be like a dark cloud hanging over relationships but once you are able to understand the origin of your trust issues set boundaries open communication and you know address your insecurities it gets really easy to dissolve and deal with trust issues if you found this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up go ahead and click 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 so you can subscribe turn on your bell icon too so you can get a notification every time i post a new video and do not forget to share 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 with anyone that you think would like this video and i also appreciate it if you my beautiful viewers can comment on this video let's talk share your thoughts and opinions tell me if you enjoyed this video you know let's just talk see you in the comments bye